Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tech news update. We are Wednesday, May the 10th, 2017. And today in our tech news update, we have the build conference that starts today. At build, we expect to have a lot of announcements about Windows, about Cortana, about Azure, about everything for developers, of course. And it all starts today at 8 a.m. this morning we will have uh, in Pacific time that's 11 a.m. Eastern time the first keynote of the build conference where we expect to have a little bit of information about you know Windows Cortana and all sorts of little things of course I'll doing I'll be doing a few little roundups of what has been said and done in the conferences and what we've learned more it's going to be interesting to see in the next few days what we hear and of course, the streaming of a lot of the conferences will be live on the Channel 9 website of Microsoft if you want to view them. Patch Tuesday yesterday actually patched a total of 57 security flaws in Windows and uh, Office. Pretty amazing. It was a big Patch Tuesday. And it's very important to apply it because there are quite a few critical flaws, including the famous Windows Defender flaw that makes your Windows Defender basically so, um, so easy to actually hack into that they can actually turn it into a malware machine. So um, basically, it's a um, very uh, interesting uh, patch Tuesday that we had yesterday very important to actually apply all of this if you want to stay safe online this is the best way to do it so uh, if you haven't done so already check out your Windows updates for Windows 7 Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 um, more interesting information coming out of Microsoft with um, Windows 10 S now we've learned that we can install only from the Windows Store so some people were speculating, well, this might, you know, force um, Google, for example, to do a, um, you know, universal Windows um, platform browser with Google Chrome. Thing is, Microsoft has said, nope, only Microsoft Edge and we will not accept third-party browsers in the store. Now, there's two wordings to this that I'm kind of interested in. Okay, one is... They will now allow desktop Chrome or Firefox into the store, which means maybe, you know, if they use Project Centennial to transfer their apps into the store. But another warning is no other browsers. So um, does it mean not at all? That's pretty much what I seem to think. Uh, that would be a kind of a stupid move, I think on the part of Microsoft and I think just that move puts another nail in the coffin of Windows 10 S before it's even you know mainstream so I don't know we'll see what happens with that but uh, kind of a kind of a little downer here um, Microsoft Edge has a very weird bug that people has been uh, reporting for the past few weeks when you try to print to PDF it seems that some users are getting weird characters instead of numbers but the thing is many many users trying to actually recreate this bug say well I don't have it here so it seems to be either at random or in specific circumstances that this happens and so um, very uh, interesting detail but there's enough reports and enough people to uh, kind of say hey there's a little bug there where PDFs are not rendered correctly um, when you actually Safe to PDF. Forty percent of people running Android, and this is the Marshmallow version, are at risk of a screen hijack bug. Now we've talked about this uh, a few weeks ago, where it was easy because of the per the uh, permissions given to some of the apps that appear on your start or your home screen to actually um, use it to hijack your device. The worst about it is that Google seems not very uh, interested in fixing it because apparently it wouldn't be before at least the summer that an update would actually patch and fix this issue. So um, be sure to keep an eye on your phones and your Android devices 
to make sure that nobody tries to tap into your device. Well, we're getting a little more reports of the Home Hub. It's been a little while since we've heard about the Home Hub of Microsoft. Everybody thought it was a separate device. Well, no, it's turning your PC into a device like the um, you know, Amazon Echo, for example. Microsoft has this idea of why have a third-party device do what your computer can actually do itself. So it's really turning your PC into a smart speaker and no need for extra hardware. It will be able to do everything, including shopping, just like the Amazon Echo, for example. But um, it will be centered around your PC. So interesting to see. And as we get more and more, and of course, this is one of the features that we might see appear in Redstone 3. So it's going to be interesting to continue seeing what happens, especially also for the insiders. Well, a study is actually finding that the US, Canada and Mexico are buying more job killing robots than ever. That means, you know, we were talking uh, last year, uh, there was a lot of talk about jobs being lost because of computers, robots and everything. And it seems that um, it's we've never, you know, Canada, Mexico, and U.S. have never bought so many robots. That means, you know, we are there. That revolution that we've talked about. You know, I mean, we talked about robots taking over jobs uh, as far back as the 70s and 60s. Well, now I think it's the time because a lot of those robots are being bought right now. And finally, um, the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission in the United States that is really, really in a controversial moment here with the net neutrality um, story. Um, it seems that the website for the FCC has been down for the most part of the past few days and it prevents people from actually giving their opinion on net neutrality. We know that all, at least 350,000 reports have been filed at the FCC, but now people can really access and we're, you know, there's um, a couple of Democrat senators that are saying, well, we want answers. I mean, people need to give their opinion here. And why is it that the website is always down? Uh, it's apparently being uh, down because of the, a distributed denial of service attack. But, uh, you know, some of the Democrats and some people are finding this very curious. Is this being done on purpose so that people just can't voice their frustrations over net neutrality being gone? Or, or being removed. Uh, very, very uh, interesting little story here. So, uh, of course, if you're in the United States, I uh, really, really want you to communicate, you know, go to the FCC's website if you can, or, you know, communicate with your, uh, your uh, law, um, you know, all the people around you that, you know, your, your, your senator, your, everybody needs to know that you don't want net neutrality to be broken. That is the worst thing that could happen. So this was the Tech News Update for Wednesday, May the 10th, 2017. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Also, if you like our live shows, our videos, PayPal donations are accepted at the Yahoo email you see here, patreon.com as at radio slash, uh, radio slash, patreon.com slash radio and computers. And remember, if because one of my videos, you've been able to fix an issue, and um, you didn't have to call the tech guy. Why not think of giving me a little something in return? So this was the tech news update. Thank you for watching.